Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1003. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1003 to 1006, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have to look up a particular name, but there's duplicates in the first column. And we need to tell it, hey, get the second uh, suit name Sue and then retrieve that rate and put it right here. If we change this to the first one, then the lookup formula here is going to have to find this Sue, or even though there's duplicates, find the first one and return that 58 right here. Next video, we'll see how to uh, uh, do the conditional formatting. And in the uh, two videos ahead, 1005, we'll see how to do it when it's not sorted, which is quite a bit uh, more complicated. All right, so you ready? Hey, we'll use the lookup function index. Now, what are we trying to look up? Well, we're trying to look up rates. So I'm going to highlight that whole column right there in array, comma, and the row number. It wants the relative position. Well, Sue is um, however many that is down there, but there's duplicates. No problem. We'll find the relative position for row number by using match. I'll say, hey, match, look up the name Sue, comma, within bloop, that column right there comma, and the trick for duplicates, or one of the tricks, is to use exact match 0. That way, match is programmed to only get the first one. Well, what do we want? In this case, we want the first one, so it would work. But watch this, since I want the second and third sometime, depending on what's in this cell, match right now will return, in fact, I don't know what it will return. Let's see what the relative position of the first Sue is. F9 key to evaluate, so it's 10. Right now, we really want 10. But later, if we change this to 2, we want 11 and then 12, right? So Control-Z. I'm going to add what's ever in this cell. That'll give me one too many, so then subtract one. And that's going to be, for row number, the relative position. That will do it for index. Only if it's sorted, though, right? So now if I change this to 2, boom, it's getting the 18. If I change it to 3, it's getting the 81. If I change the name to Phil, boom, there's that 88. Change it to 1, and there's that 61. All right, next video, we'll see how to do the conditional formatting. Uh, 1004 and 1005, we'll see how what to do if the first column is not sorted. See you next trick.